Good morning. Today is August 20th, 2011. This is today's tropical weather outlook that I issue. I try to issue it daily, but i um, not always working. Anyways, we got some active tropics, and particularly in the Atlantic. The Atlantic is alive this morning. So, um, we're going to go ahead and just start with the Pacific because we're, we're not seeing much activity. Tropical Depression Greg is uh, continuing to drift west-northwest at about 8 miles an hour into the open waters of the eastern Pacific Ocean. Uh, Greg is expected to become a remnant low um, probably by this afternoon. So this advisory number 19, well, uh, their next advisory should be its last one as Greg is expected to degenerate. And, uh, very shortly. Um, here's its wind history. It's had a pretty long, well, not really very long history. Um, it started as a little tropical storm. It became a Category 1 hurricane. It peaked winds just south of these, uh, small islands right here as a 85 mile per hour Category 1 hurricane. Then it started its, uh, weakening phase, and this is where it's at now. Um, it's actually over here now. There is no sustained force, uh, no sustained winds of tropical storm force winds or greater, um, because it's now tropical depression debt, Greg. We're not expecting any re redevelopment, we're just expecting it to fizzle out by this afternoon. And then we got another spot we're watching. Um... We were seeing some slow development that could be occurring on this, but now upper level winds are becoming very unfavorable, so we're not expecting any development out of this one either. And uh, the remnants of Fernanda, there. This is what's left of it. There's nothing left really, but this is what's left of Fernanda. It's just not there anymore. So, no worries in the Pacific as of now. In the Atlantic, however, is a completely different story. We're going to first start off with now tropical depression Harvey. Uh, Harvey moved inland over Belize, which was um, yesterday, I think it was, or maybe the day before. Yeah. It moved inland, and it continues to move farther inland, and it's it may briefly merge over water, but um, Harvey's expected to remain in tropical depression through today, and then... By early Monday, it should be gone. Uh, it could dissipate earlier than that. It could. There's, um, but it looks like, it looks like it is going to sustain itself through today, but we can't rule that out. So Harvey, it's continuing to pose a flooding potential, but no major damage. Belize experienced some tropical storm wind damage. Um, but the main concern was flooding, and the flooding threat continues for this area. The threat of regeneration of Harvey is extremely low. In fact, pretty much zero, so we don't have to worry about Harvey. It's going to move in farther inland, and the flood threat will will um, disappear by the time it degenerates. Irene, which formed yesterday, um, it's now, this is advisory number 3A. Maximum sustained winds are 50 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 1,005 millibars. It is moving pretty quickly towards the west at about 21 miles per hour. It will slow down a little, but, um, yeah, Irene is moving pretty quickly at the moment. Um, Irene is a very, a very large concern at the moment. Irene's very dangerous um, for uh, the Caribbean at the moment. Here's its wind speed probabilities. Strengthening is expected today. Um, forecast to become a moderate tropical storm by this afternoon, 60 miles per hour. By tomorrow morning, it should be n nearly a hurricane. And by Monday afternoon, it is expected to be a Category 1 hurricane. And by the time it becomes a Category 1 hurricane, it is expected to cut across Dominican Republic as a Category 1 hurricane. And then as it moves farther inland over Hispaniola, 
and move over Haiti as a tropical storm. And then it's expected to make landfall in Cuba as a tropical storm. And as it emerges over Cuba, it is expected to strengthen very quickly, very, very quickly. And uh, the speed of uh, intensification is unknown at this time. But yeah, um, it actually it does look like it is going to speed up maybe a little. Um, the speediness of the storm will probably inhibit for it to become a major hurricane. So uh, we're not expecting like no Category 5 or something like that out of Irene. But it does look like it is going to become a hurricane. Uh, it's very likely. We already got hurricane warnings for Dominican Republic. So if you live in Dominican Republic, you got to watch out. This is the probability of tropical storm force winds within the next 120 hours, basically. Um, yeah, it's um, Florida's definitely going to have to watch the storm, as it could very well become, as it, it could very well cause some problems for Florida. So stay tuned on the latest for Irene. This is the end.